Good morning everyone, it's Sunday and I got back from Paris yesterday quite late last night and now I'm off again tomorrow but I've got this little day in between to just have a little bit of time for myself. It's been such a hectic month already so far. I feel like January is supposed to be like the month that you sort of ease yourself back into it. No, full throttle. Uh, so today we're just gonna sort of have a nice start to the morning in the gym and then probably have some breakfast. I think I've got to get my nails done later as well and I've got some bits and bobs to do before I head to Paris tomorrow. But for this video, I've actually teamed up with Herbal Essences and it's basically gonna be a bit of a digital detox for me. Now I love social media, I don't care what anyone says, I love social media, but it can get quite intense sometimes, especially when you're really busy and you just need to take a break from it. So I'm gonna be taking part in their Do Not Disturb campaign and when I'm in the gym, I'm gonna put my phone on flight mode because I am so guilty of like sitting there between sets and scrolling through social media and God knows what else and um, it just distracts me. So I wanna be really efficient in the gym today and give myself a bit of a break there. And then we're gonna go and have breakfast and it's gonna be quite a healthy breakfast because I'm not only having a digital detox, I'm just being generally healthy as well. But even though it's Sunday, I do have lots of stuff to do as well. So I will have to get some work done, but I'm just gonna be putting my phone to one side. <laughs> I'm trying to see if we can go and see my parents today as well, but I don't think they'll be enough time for that so we'll um we'll see and I've also got to get my nails done before I head back to Paris tomorrow but one of the worst times of day I, I don't know if I'm saying that right one of the worst times of day I think that sounds right um for me to sit on my phone is when I'm in bed I can sit on there for like hours and just scroll and before I know it I'm on like someone's hamsters Instagram page. And so tonight I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm not gonna pick up my phone. I'm going to do some coloring in a mindfulness book that I've got and I'm just gonna do that instead of all of the incessant scrolling. And hopefully I'll get a good night's sleep afterwards instead of sitting on my phone the whole night. But that is the plan of action for the day ahead. So first of all, let's head to the gym. A pretty guy with a halo. But who am I kidding? It's cold, isn't it actually? It's really cold. <laughs> Europe is very cold at the moment. drank one bottle of water today so I think that's about I think that's a litre um, and I've had like a green tea and stuff like that so I've refilled for a second litre and I'll probably do about three litres before the end of the day um, because I notice in my skin so much if I don't drink that much water I literally love water so much I know that some people don't like it but I oh, I love it um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump in the shower quickly because I desperately need to wash my hair it's like it's got to that stage where it's like lacking in life. <laughs> but um, I've managed to stay off my phone in the gym and at breakfast, and now I'm keeping my phone off whilst I head into the shower. I'm gonna stick the do not disturb sign on the door because now that Ali is home all the time, I have to, um, yeah, have to do that because otherwise he just barges in and uses the toilet. <laughs> 
I'm showering at home today because it was quite busy at the gym so I just thought that I would come home and have a little bit of an escape in my own shower. The shower is just one place that I really feel like I get away from it all so yeah I'm looking forward to it. A nice hot shower. <laughs> to wash my hair I'm using the Herbal Essences Daily Detox Shine in white tea and mint and this is the shampoo. The shampoo is paraben free so this is perfect if you've got like treated hair like I do and also just great for washing the day away after a heavy workout and it's great for kind of everyday use as well and then I've got a huge bottle of the Herbal Essences Detox Shine in white tea and mint. This is their pH balanced conditioner and I have to use so much conditioner on my hair because I've got such thick hair so um, I really sort of fill up my hand and just work it through the ends of my hair. I don't tend to put it at the roots, I just keep it to the ends of my hair quite nicely. So that's my in shower routine finished, now it's time to get on with my day. So whilst my towel absorbs like that excess, excess moisture in my hair, I have had some parcels come round that were delivered to our neighbour whilst we were away, so I thought I'd open them. It seems weird getting parcels on a Sunday, but why not? Oh my god, I've been waiting for this for so long. So I'm sure you're sick of seeing my grey zip up top. I couldn't wear it today because um, it was so dirty. It's from a brand called Gibson Girl and they do like amazing seamless gym wear. So they've sent me some of their range and the same gym top but in bright red. I so hope this fits because I tried on the black one and it was really big. So I hope this fits as good as the grey one. But look at those colours. I love that. And then they've sent some leggings and also a vest top two vest tops. So I'm going to be trying those out in the gym now that I'm back. Well, when I get back from Paris on my next trip. <sighs> we have... Oh my gosh! This is like wedding stuff! Oh! Bridesmaids to be. I don't understand what they're for. Is this for the, I think this, these are like books for them to help plan everything. Oh. And then we have, oh my gosh, they're, they're like wedding themed pencils. They say, I do and flowers, kiss the bride and confetti, champagne and cake, love and first dates, and always and forever, or forever and always. <laughs> oh my gosh, this stuff is so cute. Who is this from? OMG. Oh, this is from Etsy. Oh my goodness, there's more in here as well. Dear Lydia, congratulations on your engagement. Here are a few treats to help begin the wedmin. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so this is a My Little Wedding Book, but this isn't just like my wedding planner. This has like helpful hints as well inside and little cute quotes as well. Grow old with me, the best is yet to be. It's got like a table to plan everything. Look, that's a seating table plan. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so helpful. There's lots of pressure for a bride to look perfect on their wedding day. Just remember that being happy is number one. Oh, this is so nice. Literally, these wedding and like engagement gifts are so much fun. I'm so excited. I meet with my wedding planner, uh, I think, not next week but the week after and that's when like the engagement party planning starts and the wedding planning obviously but there's just so much to do i'm just so excited i also just found this super cute little hanger at the bottom of the bag as well i almost missed it which is just so sweet it's got the bride on it and then a cute little bow so this is obviously what my dress will hang on and if you don't know i actually had my dress uh, planned over six months ago. It was really strange, like the, the designer contacted me and um, I knew that this designer was the person I wanted to make my dress. So yeah, it all kind of like fell into place. But so that dress will be sat on this hanger. But I can't tell you any more than that, sorry. <laughs> And this is my hair finished after washing it. Oh my God, it feels just like so nice and clean. Literally the best feeling in the world. I remember when I didn't used to wash my hair all that regularly and I have no idea how I did it, but I love how clean and fresh and just like, you know, that feeling on your scalp. Oh, I just, you can't put it into words, but my hair's done, my makeup's done. So now I'm gonna sit down and film a few videos. It's probably quite boring for you to watch that. So um, I will pick this up if we get time to go to my dad's and my stepmom's for dinner. 
If not, you'll be coming with me to get my nails done. So I finished off filming on a Sunday and editing on a Sunday and I didn't make it to my stepmums and my dad's. I'm pretty gutted about it because she was making my favourite Iranian dish. Oh, <laughs> literally, I'm so gutted. But I was supposed to be there at like three and I told her I'd be there between four and five and it's now quarter to seven and I'm just about to make myself some dinner because I didn't make it. I always think it's going to take less time than it actually does, but oh well. But yeah, I'm going to make us a healthy dinner tonight before I go and get my nails done. So I'm going to make us salad and um, corn chicken because um, I'm not actually that, like, I'm quite bland when it comes to food. I'm not fussed about, like, loads of flavour or anything like that. So it's just going to be something whipped up really quickly and shoved in my mouth really quickly because I have to be ready to get my nails done at 7.30. So let's get cooking. You alright, Sloth? I'm all right. You're the sloth anyway. I'm not. What have you been doing? The grey bear. You are a grey bear. Um, dinner? Yes, please. Okay. So these are the two salads. We've just got simple lettuce leaves and cucumber in there and now I'm going to dress it with some olive oil and a little bit of salt and then just add the chicken in and some balsamic vinegar and it really is as simple as that and it fills me up so much. It's, this is the only way that I can enjoy salad. I can't go to a restaurant and order a salad. I have to make it myself for me to enjoy it and sorry if you can hear the washing machine going. <laughs> so we need balsamic let's go for rapeseed oil instead and a little bit of sea salt um, he has a pure agency he's just invited me to if you want a job doing properly you've got to do it yourself bon appetit it's so cold that there was no spiders waiting for me outside of my house this evening. Yes, <laughs> but it is so cold that my door was frozen shut and I was like, hello. <laughs> anyway, I'm running so late to go and get my nails done. So I'm gonna go and quickly get my, this fixed and um, then come back and pack. done and I would show you them but one of my hands is holding the camera and the other hand is under this one look at how cute she looks she's like a little baby <laughs> she knows I'm going to Paris in the morning she's literally a little baby pom so I'm all packed up and ready to get into bed this is my suitcase all packed with like coats and jumpers and boots and then in here I have like my handbags and this is the best PR gift I ever got it's like a travel beauty case so practical I just shove all of my makeup in there and it's got a mirror as well because I don't know whether it's just me but hotel bathrooms and hotel rooms in general have very poorly placed mirrors and very badly lit mirrors most of the time so I always have one of those to pop in front of the window and do my makeup with natural likes. It's got a nice mirror on the back of it. That up there is my Victoria Beckham dress that is going to the dry cleaners. That is my outfit all laid out ready for the morning because I've got a quarter past six pickup. So continuing on my digital detox, I am going to put my phone again to one side. I'm not gonna sit there and trawl the internet whilst I lie in bed. I do that so much. It's such a waste of time and I end up going to bed so much later than I would like. Pop my phone on the side and I'm gonna get out my new coloring book and I'm just gonna use that. It relaxes you and just kind of puts you in a much better headspace rather than sort of the bright lights of your phone. And I think that it's probably gonna be one of those things that I want to do a lot more of because I do need things to like calm me down and not stress me out so much. This is the little book of mindfulness coloring book and it's illustrated by Holly McDonald. And I also got these colouring pencils. I think it came in a bit of a like pampering set. And I'm just going to sit here and colour in, in instead of trawling all over social media. And um, I think this is going to be very, very relaxing. Oh, I didn't realise it had like quotes in it as well. 
You must live in the present, launch yourself on every wave, find your eternity in each moment. Fools stand on their island of opportunities and look towards another land. There is no other land. There is no other life but this. So that's it from my healthy detox Sunday. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and if you did, please do give it a big thumbs up and I guess I will see you when I'm in Paris tomorrow. I'm gonna to be doing another two vlogs whilst I'm in Paris, so it should be quite fun, but I will hopefully be getting the first vlog from Paris up. It will already be up by the time this video goes live. So yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye. Don't forget to hit subscribe as well.